Hiya. I know I haven't been on for a while. Things are a bit odd. Or have been odd. Um, and busy. But um, all quiet at the moment. So I thought I'll come on. And uh, yeah, I'd love to know. Hiya, Tom. Um, I'd love to know how you're getting on with your um, dip it kits um we had huge problems with um courier um who didn't want to collect from us um well at one point they was coming every day for about a fortnight and then when and we didn't have hardly anything and then when we needed them they didn't come for a fortnight so um yeah that's been a little bit stressful trying to get those off um but they've all gone now so i'd love to see what you're doing um that would be fab um i thought i'd come on and show you that i haven't sort of been idle we've been uh well i've been making different flowers there's a couple of new tutorials that will be out 23rd june um and they're going to be we're going to touch on christmas we're not going to do a lot of christmas but we will touch on christmas just a little bit um because as you know you know these flowers do take quite a while to make um i can give you a sneak peek at a sample i'll just get it let's just move those out of the way it's quite large so I may have to lift you up to get it because it may take up the whole of the screen. Let me just lift you up a little bit. So, yeah, that's a Yule log. I've got lots for you, Tom. So next week, um, as from Monday, um, I shall um, start sending out for the uh, DT team. Yeah, this is not. I've, I've been. I've been hunting around the garden. Um, because that's what I was thinking for the table. One I haven't started yet. Um, I've got a log that, well, a log slice at Glenn, bless him, when he gets a minute. He's been away again. Um, but he's just going to sand, sand down a bit for me. Um, I've got a couple of candles. So that'll be another sort of project just in it's one of joe rose little reeves so um that'll have christmasy things all around there oh bless you i'm sorry i've been a bit of a div tom but um yeah hopefully soon things will get back to well my relative normal do you know what i mean um So that's a couple of the just a couple of different ways a couple of different things with uh, some Christmassy stuff um, so I'm a little bit Christmased out at the moment so I thought what I'll do is um, we'll go the other way and we'll do a little bit of pretty not that Christmas isn't pretty but you know what I mean um Connie let's put my glasses back on. I actually got Connie making the other day. Whoops, so she's made these little earrings. She made this little little flower there. So I've got I don't know how many colours I've got now, but I've got the glass and I've got the porcelain and these these ones 
are from the porcelain. And I was sitting there and I was uh, looking at the colours and um, just sort of testing. But they'd make fantastic tropical flowers with the bright colours that are in some of them. So that'll be a, a thing that I'll, um, I shall do. But I thought, well, while the sun's shining, let's go a little bit pretty. And I've been making some pastel roses. Might not be able to see them. Terrible. That one especially, because that's quite pearly. Got that one there. And then you've got that one there. But you can see them, they sort of shimmer. Um, very easy to do. With all of these things, it, you know, it, it's not um, necessarily a quick thing. But once you see the results, it, it just kind of gets you hooked. You know, so it does me anyway. Um, so I thought we'll make a rose and I'll show you what I'm doing because I've got these little backs. I'm going to try and get some more in um, so I can get them on the website for you. Um, but everything's really slow, a bit like me really, like trying to get stock in and things like that. Um, so it's just kind of like patience. Now what I want is, is pliers and some wire. Um, I'm going to make these roses. What I like about these is because where they are quite pastel, you can actually see like the silver wire really shows up well. Hopefully that's coming across. All right. You can see that. But I mean, they'd make lovely sort of wedding flowers from flowers anything really like that um lots of plans lots of ideas still where's my cutters now i'm going to do these at the thinner wire that you've got in your kits uh 0.3 and that just makes them look even more delicate So just take your smallest form, wrap round, and we want three of these. It does take a while, so you may get bored. You can always, I might even have a break to just making up all these petals that take, a, take quite some time. So we want three small ones. Hello, Jane. I can see you there. How are you doing? Probably would. Um, because the last thing you want it to do, um, you know, is to split. But they are, I mean, they are really tough. I mean, I'm, I'm a bit of a, oh, good, Jen. Um, yeah, I am, I'm not the most daintiest of people. Um, I mean, even where these ones, where they look delicate. But for something like a wedding bouquet, I would use strengthener. Because you want it to last. Oh, brilliant. Have you made anything yet? We're just going to put some little bends and twists in the wire. Just with some round nose. Just give it a bit of a kink, really. And if you put them all together and do them all at once, they're roughly all the same then. Okay, so that's three. We've got hundreds to make, so you are going to get bored. Um, what I've done is I've taken the um, clear. Shall I make a different colour up? Because we've got blue, we've got purple. What uh, colour micro have I got to hand? Um, let's go a pink. 
Oh my god. Nice and clear. Probably gonna have to get another tin. Mind you, I'll use that because there's only that. There's only a little bit in there. I like her. Lid on. Give it a stir. Oh, brilliant, Jang. I'm pleased. Hello, Joel. I can see you sneaking in. So, look, you can see how pastely that is. Right, so we'll use that one. Okay, so... These are our three smallest, so these are going to be for the middle. Just go in and dip. You probably may not even see the colour of the pink. You might do if I put it on there. You don't know that it's really showing up. My, you down the pub? Anyone Jubilee celebrating today? Oops. It's when you put these all together, like with the pastel colours. When you put these together, that's when you start to see the colours more. Right, three. Next row we want, put your lid on. We need four, so we're going to go up a size to these. As I say, you may well get bored, so you can always rewatch it. Just kick me out. How does that kick me out? I don't know. So we want four of these. Did I say that already? Probably. One, two, three, four. So again, put them all together. And just put a little bit of a wave. Don't go too mad. Uh, 
Oh, a bit of a crinkle in there. That's not crystal clear anymore, is it? It's my pink that I've just made. You start in, Dom. You should be doing holiday things. Right, four of them. Set it again. Right, next size. We need five. Whoops, come here. I'm on blood thinners at the moment. Ah, suspected DVT in my leg. So that's fun. Which is really hurting at the moment, actually. Are oh, you back from the beach? You got. Sandy. Be near a beach when we go away. Even when we went to Scotland, there's some really nice beaches up there. There's some really nice little coves and fishermen's uh, villages and things like that. Found some right little roll gold, don't say that, Marines. One, two, three, four, one more. I'm not sure it is a DVT though. signal Whitstable I don't think I've been to Whitstable you know that's not that far is it from here no um first week in July Glenn's off. Oh my god, the dog's just <sighs> dropped something and it really stinks. Goodness me, that's nuclear. Who was that? That's not good. <laughs> I get so used to that and twist them all. Um, that's where my nails can get in the way. <clears throat> um, so I've nearly cut them off. So thumb one more than anything. God, that dog. 
honestly. Oh, don't do that. Oh, don't do that. Don't touch them together because then they break. Good God, I'm surprised that that's not killed me. Oh, if it's me, dip it flowers. It's enough to kill real flowers. Didn't know it was because they're both laying together. Goodness me. Am I still buffering or have I stopped? Worse. Sorry, I do feel a bit guilty about that. But, um, I thought I'd kept him, in, but um, I was going to get a, a spade. I noted, but um, it all happened very fast, and I wasn't ready. Right, uh, next one we need six. This one may be a little bit big actually. I think for this one, because they're more delicate, I'm just going to go slightly smaller. But the nails are handy for separating wire and more the new ones I've got which is quite a few um, this is uh, clear with pink mica added and then the other ones are uh, clear with blue mica and purple mica and then I think I did one with um, the other one. Where's it gone? I've lost it. One with the butterfly. Where'd that go then? Probably right under my nose somewhere. Hmm. Perhaps it's flown off. Oh, there it is. So that I did with the the white mica. Um, so it, it's slightly lighter than the actual pearl on its own. Two more. So this is all done with the thinner wire. So I'm not going to make a huge one. The last one. Oh, stretch my leg. Now, I'll tell you what, I again, just put a little bit of kink in them, just to give them a bit of shape. Don't have to go nuts. 
Oh, all right, love. Yes, Maisie's snoring. Yeah, I'll get you some to you next week with your colours. Right. In we go. Rabbits have got big. Take me out of house and home now. No, I've asked Liam, but he was going to ask someone else, John. So probably best to send them to me. Right. Yes, I am. You can come in if you be a hive with your Yoda t shirt on. Pardon? I said you can come in if you're going to be a hive. No. Oh, can you smell that dog? No. Oh, you're lucky. Um, <laughs> I'll leave you in pieces then. All right then. Um, yeah, so I went to doctors yesterday because my leg's been swollen and it's been really painful. And um, she said, I think you've got a DVT. So she said, I'll put you on blood thinners, she said, and... Um, I'll do a referral to the hospital and you should be seen within the next day or two. So I got a phone call yesterday saying that um, they're all off. In that department because of Bank hollow this one. You do the scan. Right down the bronze. I'm gonna send yours out next week, Rachel. Rachel's joining us, joining me. Um I'll probably just shut up and let her get on with it because she's a bit of a whiz. If you haven't um seen Rachel Norris's work, you need to go and have a look at her Facebook page. Um, absolutely stunning. Well, Rachel's going to be joining us on the 8th of July. So I'm not telling you what I'm doing, but hopefully you can see. <laughs> Hello, Art. Um, so... so do is just just curl your leaf over I 
and we're just going to start to build up the flower hopefully you can see that on there oh, i'm all right my love how are you doing i've missed you all it's me though it's not you i've just been a bit Ugh. you know what families are like bend that in a little bit so you, you can still do this like play about with them and it is you know it is relatively strong just get your shapes that you, you want <laughs> well, I was doing a good job, Art. I've managed to keep away for a couple of years. We even moved. But, um, yeah. It's only one person. But, uh, it's a bit dramatic. Might be the centre of attention. I might move that into the middle, actually. I don't know yet. We'll see. We go in that one. I'll just give them a twist, to hold them all together. Hello, here comes Connie now. You're on a line. I am. Hello. You all right? Yeah. Yeah. I've just got something to tell you in a bit. That's all. How can you do that? What gossip? Good gossip. Not so you've got the start in the middle hopefully you can say that not going to focus is it Right, I'll keep building it. But you can see now that colour that you couldn't really see because it is so pastel. Please don't dark because it makes you do something the other end. Um, but once you start putting it together, see we were sitting down here all quiet and they all have to find me, don't they? You can shake around your tools as well. So if you want to give it a bit of a shape, she wants to go out now. You don't know how many times I've tried to do videos and then something's happened. Like a dog, child, husband. Yeah, you all need supplies. It's coming. I was saying I'm loving the all the new colours. The subtitle said you could wrap around toes. I probably could. Mind you, you wouldn't want to wrap around my toes. I've got um date of my operation for my um foot's come through, 25th of July. He's going to try and reconstruct it, he said. So, um, yeah, I'm Just carry on building it up and shaping your petals. Oh, 
but I really like that, like the fine wire, it gives such a delicate look. Oh, I haven't said the new colours, actually. We've got, um, oh, I'm going to forget them all, you know that, didn't you? Okay, in the glass, we've got forest green. We've got nut brown. We've got nut brown, forest green, Hawaiian blue. Just um, what else have we got? What else have we got? What else have we got? Um, um, um. Uh, point three this is but point three or point four is good i'll have to go and have a look now you've asked me what colors are because i knew i'd forget um Oh, there's loads of them. Forest green is nice, and the why well, I like them all actually, the nut brown. Cut off and in the porcelain which um, may not be on the 23rd it may be on the 8th there's a primrose there's a cornflower there's a lime oh black is another one I've got um, there's purple there's tangerine there's what else is there um tangerine lime, snowdrop beautiful white it is um that's the snowdrop there really love them lovely white um, um, Thank you. And then if you want to put strengthener on, you can. Um what other colours? Come on everyone. That just needs pulling through. I'm going to have to go and have a look. Might only need five rounding. So hopefully you can see that colour a little bit. Um, you can see that colour a little bit better. Wear a white April, apron. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, could do. White or black, though. Now, with this, all I do is just bend it up just so it sits round the bottom of the rose.
So it's just sort of cupping it. I can't think what they're called, the bits under the flowers. What are they called? What are they called? Someone clever will tell me. But you know what I mean. So it just kind of cups it. Now, obviously, if you want this um, to go in a bunch or something like that, then just put your stem tape round. But what we can also do is a bit of UV resin. Oh, yeah, it is on. It's got it. It's so bright in there. Well, my battery might be running out. I think the battery's running out. Yeah, my battery's gone nearly. <clears throat> but you get the idea. Then what you can do once the resin's set is to cut it right down so if you want that to go um, on something flat like uh, anything corsage or if you want it in like a reef in the middle you haven't got to worry about all the wires and hiding all the wires hello caroline see so that could sit right on top then um also what you can do i could do with some batteries because I was going to show you something else to do with hello as you can tell I didn't put the batteries in so I have no idea how this works uh -huh. there's no where's, oh right okay they're in there I'll give them a twiddle sometimes if you twiddle batteries they come back to life don't they Connie you got any black bags in there no if you're going up the house, could you get me some batteries, please, for my torch? What little size? diddy ones. What size? The little triple A's. How many? Three. Maybe four. Four, please. Oh, look, you see, it's working a bit now. I've just got a Connie look. They're quite evil, Connie looks. That's it. That's it, Rachel. Right, now, when Conifer comes back, excuse my dirty little silicon mat. So this can come right off now if you want it right off. There is, um, so we can sit it like that. Right, so there is something else we can do, or there's a few things actually. Um, if you want to put some more shading in, um, just go back in with some colour. Oh, I can't get a brush. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Now, don't. Um, what it will do, if you put too much back on, it will start the melting process. I mean, you could even use strengthener and then go back in and put more colours on. But there's a couple of ways you can do it. If you want to darken the centre, just add a bit more in. Thank you, darling. Just gives it that little bit more in there. And what you can do, if you want a little bit of something else, 
<clears throat> what have I got here? That's a blue. Have I got any pearly near? No, I've mixed that as well, you see. I'll get a bit carried away. Uh, what's that one? Aha. Uh -huh. Right. You can clean your brush in thinners. No, that one's no good. Oh, nuts. I'm going to go in purple. Only because I can't find the other colours. You won't really see it until the daylight gets onto it. But you get can get some nice sort of two tones. It's the easiest way really to do it rather than try and sort of twist and dip into a pot. You do have to work fairly quick. I'm not really working that quick to be honest. I'm a bit of a wally. Hello Christine, my love. I can see you. I need to come and see you. Loopy, just where I've had the lid off. And what we can do, if you want to, while it's tacky, on that edge don't know how much it's picking up for you but it's there Go over that one again. So there's not much grief from that one. Hopefully, you can see the colours. It's not the best one to try and demonstrate on screen, but if 
you have it, guys. Now, there is another way that you can do this. You can say that. But it's just all twinkly. In there. What are you after, love? Some stuff I can bear with. Oh. Right, that's that one. You had enough, or do you want me to do some more? You can if you want to, John. Oh. Just, yeah, just put your brush in some thinners, which I haven't got here at the moment, but it will um, do. Uh, that butterfly was done in the same way, just layering. So you've got blues, a bit of yellow, and some purple in there. Um, the other thing you can do is, um, depends how much patience you've got, really. So we've got a shape. I can make a bit more of a point. That's a leaf on there. I'm going to cut some wire down. And just go there. So if you take some UV resin, don't need a lot. Can you have a look at the new colours? You want me to take you to the new colours? Hmm. Okay, let me just show you this. Sticks got stuck there. Right. Get a little bit of resin on there. Oh, I didn't change my battery, did I? Uh -huh. Just position it on your wire. And then you can So it just saves your wire wrapping really but you can do different shapes as well and then just hold it with uv so we could take that across there
it's Maisie. She's the one because Ollie's not in here anymore. And she's done it again. It's, I don't know why, because they've been on the same food. Oh, look at my shaky hand. You can wire wrap, but it's just to show you a little bit different. You want to see the tangerine and the primrose. No, I'm not selling UV, um, but because uh, Hobby Maker do it. So um, they're going to, I've asked them to put some on the next show. So there will be UV on there. But it is quite handy with these flowers and different things. As I'll go along, I'll, said, uh, I'll show you. Um, right, let me show you some new colours then. Oh, hang on, what have we got? I'm not going to get all of them shown because some of them aren't even tinned up yet. So that's cornflower. Uh, I'll go and get the tangerine to have a look at. That's rose. It doesn't look anything, but it is a really nice colour. The... What else have we got? Oh, I can't get that one open. I can't see that one. I'm not going to show you. the lime <laughs> that's the primrose there and that's the snowdrop let me go and get a little bit of tangerine then um, oh there's a lilac as well uh, forest green is nice, the Hawaiian blue is nice. Hang on then, let me go and get some tangerine.
Right, I'm back. Oh. Uh, uh, why? There's some nice sort of autumn in colours. I mean, the nut brown, the tangerine, and uh, the rose. So that's your tangerine. I think we'll, um, after the next two shows, we'll perhaps have a think about, yeah, autumn. Um, this is a purple, but I'm not sure it's ready yet, so... That's quite ready. That looks really dark, but it's not. Yeah, I don't think you can say that. But the tangerine and the primrose you wanted, that's them. Yeah, autumn reeves would be lovely, wouldn't they? That's same. But I was also saying I'm going to do like a tropical theme as well. Um, probably for like we're going to go with Rachel. We're going to go. Um, we're going to go summery, and we'll see if we can get some tropical in there. So that's the eight. Um, which I think the um, I'm going to hold back the pool, like the metallic piece and things like that. Um, yeah, I, what I'll do is I'll get a full list of what colours I've got. Um, it's 23rd of 23rd of June, uh, the next one, and then Rachel's on the 8th of July. Let's see what colours there are, I can't remember now. Uh, might have to just put you down there. Have a look. My memory is shocking at the moment. No, I can't get on there. I'll put it on later. Um, I'll give you another look at my wreath that I made. I'll take you up a little bit. No, it's not a wreath even. It's a log.
Right, let's take it up a bit. So, oh, workshop sounds good. Where's that? Um, Rachel. So these are uh, green. I think that's forest green mixed with pearl <coughs> on there. That's a forest green. Actually, you can see the forest green better there on that one. Um, and again, that's forest green and pearl in there. But that's my your log. Oh, that sounds lovely, Rachel. Thank you. So yeah, so there'll be a tutorial for the point setter and also how to make like a little clips so you can clip them onto your Christmas tree. Because I actually bought some um flowers last year. Um and I wished I'd got more of them. And they literally, you just slide them onto the branch of your Christmas tree. I'm probably well behind in the times. They've probably been out years. Um, but they look so pretty that um, that's what I've put a little thing um, on. Uh, yeah, just put a little clippy thing on the back. But I think I'll use the ones with the clips now. I don't think I've got one to show you. But um, yeah, so there's a tutorial for that um there's also christmas lights four balls so little christmas lights on there that'll be a kit as well On that one um, and then just whatever really I haven't done the fairies yet I might save them closer to Christmas my little fairies um, I've got some uh, bead caps that I'll show you those near the time put on as well um, so yeah um that's about it really but i will put i will put all the colors up um so if people do want to pre-order they can um <laughs> tom <laughs> yeah been a bit of a pain the fairies i must say i can't even see one there one nearly took off Can't find me fairies. See, they're very naughty little fairies. What's that? Mm. What time is my fairies? Oh, there's one. Little fairy. So, but I do do a tutorial for that. You want some Christmas baubles to make for you? What, you want to make them or do you want me to make them? You're going to have a long wait if you want me to make them. I don't mind making them. But you will have a long wait. Right. I'm just going to waffle now, so I better go and leave you in peace. Um... You'll make them. Okay, okay. All right. No worries. Yeah. Anything, any questions or anything, just give us a shout. Um, and uh, I'll try and pop back on over the weekend. I'm not sure what's happening, really. But um, 
I managed to escape down here where it was a bit quieter. So enjoy the rest of your day. Have a lovely evening, whatever you're doing. Um, take care. I'll put those colours up. I'll go and look them up now. And I'll put the... Uh... Oh, you best get going. I'll see you later all. Thanks. Bye.